told us it was harmless and that by spraying the stuff that the leaves would fall off the trees. Approximately 11.3 million gallons of the stuff was sprayed in South Vietnam from fixed wing aircraft. Agent Orange was composed of an inevitable byproduct known as dioxin, the most toxic small molecule made by man. Since returning from Vietnam, it's caused a lot of health problems for myself, strange fatigue, uh, neurological problems, respiratory distress. I constantly keep colds and flu-like illnesses. This went on for several years after I came back from Vietnam. I went to many, many different doctors. And in 1971, our first child was born and uh, had uh, multiple birth defects, including missing fingers on his hands and missing bones in his wrist. And his wrists were turned inward by touching his forearm. My wife and I thought uh, this was probably uh, just one of those things that happens one in a million times. So we were very shocked when in 1972 our youngest son Michael was born with even worse defects, more missing fingers, the same missing wrist bones and also missing the long bone in his left forearm and the wrists were turned under in this case too. We still didn't make the connection between all these health problems and Agent Orange because we never heard really of the problems associated with Agent Orange. After intensive research at uh, science libraries and uh, looking through medical journals and scientific journals and genetic journals, my wife and I decided to uh, set up a little information center in our home and uh, we're distributing copies of different medical and scientific journal reports on the dangers of exposure to Agent Orange and dioxin. We uh, were getting calls from men 29, 30 years old with four or five different kinds of cancer all through their body. And after years of frustration and having doors shut in our face everywhere we turned, we decided to uh, set up a nonprofit organization and we called it the Brotherhood of Vietnam Veterans in that that basically was what we wanted it to be, a, a true brotherhood where veterans, no matter how bad off they were, could somehow find it within themselves to help other veterans, at least, if nothing else, by listening to their problems and uh, sharing understanding as only they could, having experienced exactly the same thing. And where we're at right now is trying to overturn the ignorance and apathy of the government, the VA, and the American people in general, and to bring this problem out into the open, because we feel with the amount of evidence we've compiled in this short t period of time, were it made public to the American people, they could not help but sympathize with the problem and see that the problem is corrected immediately. It was during this period of time that uh, we were contacted by uh, Raymond Plummer, whose husband had died from cancer caused from exposure by Agent Orange. Four years ago, my husband Paul died of cancer that was all over his body. With a letter that I received from his private physician, I went to the VA and filed the Agent Orange claim. I was denied and told that I needed clinical proof. I started watching my children's health. We had one of our daughters taken to MD Anderson where a tumor from her upper lip was surgically removed. It's now suspected that she has a tumor inside the spinal cord. Her twin is emotionally disturbed and has a severe learning disability. The two younger children both have a lump on their lower left rib that doctors cannot diagnose. They can feel it, they can see it, they know it's there, but it won't show up on an x-ray and it hurts. And the youngest one has some form of an eye disease that requires her to wear glasses constantly. And with the information that Danny and Donna had, 
We have that clinical proof, and yet the VA still denies it. Our real need is to get all this information together, and our only real hope for any results is going to be through public exposure and awareness. I actually guess I have a lot to be thankful for in a lot of ways, even though my children are severely handicapped. They both were blessed with uh, good minds and uh, otherwise healthy pro bodies other than the problem with their hands. And they are luckily able now to play in soccer, where ironically, uh, it's against the rules to use your hands. We think it's pretty bad that men can go and fight for their country and then at the same time be poisoned by their country. And then when they seek medical help through uh, the channels supposedly uh, set up specifically to handle veterans' problems, they are lied to, laughed at, cheated on, and generally just ignored. We think that uh, a lot of our future lies with you of America today and uh, their intelligence and their open-mindedness should be able to solve any problem that should come up. Air Force.